again. So Welcome everyone to Pivotal Stats, where we talk about data analysis techniques, business intelligence platforms, and much, much more. So let's go. Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to learn about a new topic which is used when you want to combine two tables together vertically. So what do I mean vertically? In case you want to append the results of two or more select statements together and input all those data in a single table, then you will use a concept known as union. And we're gonna see how we can use union to first of all, combine data set from multiple sources into a single table and how we can also remove duplicates while doing so. Okay, so let's just quickly jump into it. To demonstrate this topic, I've created two tables here. First one is OPW female and the second one is OPW male. And these two tables contain the same data that we've been using, which is open powerlifting. Only difference being I've split the data into male and female. So we're gonna write a select statement referring to each of those tables and then combine the data set from both of those tables. Okay, so I'm gonna say select name and age from OPW female where equipment equal to raw. And then I'm gonna write another select statement where I'm gonna say name age from this time OPW male where equipment is equal to single ply. Now to combine these two select statements, we're going to use a keyword known as union all. Now what union all does is regardless of the fact whether these tables have duplicate values or not, it will append everything together. Okay. And if I run this, it will append all the data set that has been returned from both these select statements. Now there are three basic rules while writing a union statement. First of all, the number of columns that you have in all the select statements within which you want to use union should be the same. Right now I have two columns here and I have two columns here, right? So both the select statements had two columns. Second rule, the order of the column should also be the same. I'm using name and age here at the bottom table. Also, I should have name and age. So the order also matters. Now the third thing is the data type. Whatever column names you're using, the data type should also be the same. So you cannot do that in the first select statement, you have an integer value. And in the second statement, you have a text value or a string value, right? So that would not work. It will give you an error. So whatever data type you're using in the first select statement, the second select statement should have also the same data type for both or all the columns. Now, when we ran this, as I said, union all does not consider duplicate values. It just appends everything together. Now, what if you want duplicate values to be removed from this? So for that, I'm going to make a small shift in the query here. Instead of using OPW male here, I'm going to write OPW female only. Okay. So that now when someone runs this, there are high chances that records written from both the select statements have some duplicate value in it. Okay. So to eliminate that chance, what I'm going to do is instead of union all, I'm going to use union distinct. This will remove any duplicates from the results and give you the final output. Okay. So right now I have 40,000 records here, 40,085 records. And just to check if it worked or not, I'm going to write union all again here and I'm going to run this. And if you see, I have 74,974 records if I am not using union distinct. So I hope now you understand how we can club multiple select statements together or append results from multiple select statements together vertically. And just to add union is not limited to just two select statements. I can write as many select statements as I want by just writing union all like this and then entering my third, fourth, fifth select statement, right? Only thing that you need to take care is the three rules that I mentioned, which is number of columns should be the same order in which you're writing the column should be the same and the data type should be the same. Now we saw how we can append data vertically in the upcoming videos. I'll show you how we can join data horizontally. Okay. And that is a very important topic when you're working with multiple data sources and you have to make relationships between data sets. We have seen joins in Power Query, Excel, and Power Pivot as well, right? But now we'll see at the back end how those connections are formed using SQL queries. So stay tuned for that. And if you're liking my content, please consider subscribing to the channel. That would really help me out. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.